To begin the HonorLock authentication process, first navigate to the HonorLock 1.3 tab within your Canvas course, located on the left-hand side of the screen. Do not attempt to enter your exam from any other location. Once you have found your assessment, click the Launch button to begin. On the next screen, you will be prompted to download the HonorLock Chrome extension if you have not already done so. If you have not, please download the extension and begin again. It should be noted that you must use the Chrome web browser to use HonorLock. If you have already completed these steps, please agree to HonorLock's Terms of Service and authorization to collect data for proctoring. You will now encounter an optional compatibility check. While not mandatory, it is recommended to complete this step to prevent any potential issues during the exam. This page also includes all the rules for your assessment, such as whether notes are permitted, if you are allowed to wear headphones, or whether the exam can be taken in a public space. Carefully review these guidelines, then click the Begin Authentication button. Once the HonorLock authentication process begins, a pop-up window will appear that will guide you through the process. If this window does not appear, please ensure that your browser settings are not blocking pop-ups for this site. If they are not, but the pop-up is still not appearing, please contact HonorLock's customer service. If the pop-up is present, follow all instructions from the window. Common requirements at this phase are to close any additional tabs, such as the Canvas tab you were redirected from, to disconnect any additional monitors, and to turn off any background programs that utilize your webcam. You will now capture a face detection image and an image of your identification to verify your identity. During this process, the identification should fit within the dotted outline or may be larger, depending on the type of ID used. For example, if you are using a driver's license, it should typically fill most of the screen. However, a UTID will often need to be smaller than the outline. The final authentication step requires you to share your screen. At this step, there are occasional users, primarily Mac users, who may run into missing permissions. If your system prompts you at this time, please follow your operating system's instructions to authorize Chrome to share your screen. Once authorized, please click the blue Share button to complete the authentication steps. Now that you have authenticated with HonorLock, you are officially being proctored and are provided a link to Quest. Please click Open Site to be redirected to Quest. Once redirected, you will land on a screen requiring a password. You will not have this password. Locate the overlay window, typically located at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. If it is minimized, open the window by clicking on it. Click, I have found my assessment. This will change the button on the window to Unlock Assessment. Once you click this button, HonorLock will enter the password for you. Finally, click Send, located below the password field, to access your assessment. Please note that you can change your answers as many times as you wish, but once all questions are completed, the assessment will be automatically submitted. For this reason, the final question of each exam will ask you to confirm that you are finished. Do not answer this question until you are absolutely certain you wish to end the exam. After completing the exam, if you land on a blank results screen, do not be alarmed. This simply means your instructor has not yet released the solutions or grades. To exit HonorLock, locate the red button in the bottom right corner of the screen and click it. Please also be aware that your exam will not appear within Quest until after your grades have been released. This is not an error. If at any time you lose internet connection or connection to HonorLock, promptly return to Canvas and reinitiate the HonorLock authentication process. If you must reauthenticate, as soon as your exam ends, notify your examination team of the error that occurred so that your proctoring session can be reviewed.